eye gazing. I think of this as something that originates in the Tantra tradition, meaning it goes back thousands of years as a way to enhance connection, cultivate intimacy. And there's some very interesting studies about this too. But actually, let me just describe. It consists of sitting comfortably or standing and each of you look at one another. You face one another and you look at your spouse and your spouse looks at you. There's a little bit more to it, but eye gazing is a very accurate description. There's no double entendre. You're just looking at one another, gazing in one another's eyes. And as I say, there are a number of very interesting studies looking at different benefits of eye gazing. Uh, one is that the longer someone stares at someone else's face, the more attracted they feel to it. It has been shown to increase the feeling of connection. And when it feels like there's a distance between the two of you, eye gazing can close that distance. Now, the way to do this is to set a timer. And I like to start very, very simply. So you could start with 10 seconds and build your way up to 30 seconds, 60 seconds, two minutes if you are particularly high achieving, but the benefits certainly come with 30 seconds of eye gazing. And so you start the timer, you gaze into one another's eyes, and you continue to do that until the timer goes off. However, one of the reasons that I'm including eye gazing in these intimacy rituals today is because Typically, the experience is very confronting. Oh yes, it's nice the poets would write about gazing into one another's eyes. But if you're in a long-term committed relationship and you want more connection, no matter how much you already have, you want more connection, typically what happens with eye gazing is all of your stories and projections slowly reveal themselves to one another. If you are eye gazing with your spouse and the thoughts that come into your mind are, I wonder what he's thinking about. I wonder if she actually wants to be doing this. Why are his eyebrows furrowed? Is she actually feeling frustrated with me? You might have a wave of sadness. You might feel like hiding. You might feel really raw and vulnerable. You might be fascinated by what you're looking at, but one of the things about eye gazing, which is so profound for each person who does this with intentionality is that there's such a beautiful opportunity to become more aware of how it feels to both have your attention on your spouse whom you're gazing at while also deeply having your attention on yourself and your internal experience and whatever is happening in your heart and mind. This is a very profound experience when you really allow the fullness of it to happen because it just reveals, as I say, the stories you're making up in your head and the projections and the insecurities. And you can just breathe through it and the more often you do this, the more equanimity, peacefulness, and open-hearted connection you will access. Mm -hmm.